Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today I'm just gonna be doing a soft glam. I'm actually getting ready to go to church. So I figured I'd go ahead and do my makeup and everything with you guys. I hope everybody is doing well. And I'm not doing nothing major. I'm going to church, so I'm not gonna be putting on like a whole bunch of makeup, just a neutral look. So I am gonna go in with the L'Oreal Paris 405 Concealer that's in Toffee. I'm just gonna prime my eyelids. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set my face real quick. I'm still using my Black Radiance Matte Setting Spray. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face real quick. I'm gonna go in with my Catrice No Problem Blur Primer. I'm gonna go ahead and do this real quick while my primer is setting in on my eyelids. So today I'm just gonna go in with an old school palette. I'm gonna go in with the ELF Opposites Attract palette and I'm just gonna take a couple of the neutral colors in here and use that for my transition shade. I forgot how pigmented these eyeshadows are. So I just dipped into a brown and it's like very pigmented. So I'm dipping into the color warm, which is this color here. Make sure if you have your old school products to show them some love. I know there's a lot of new makeup releases out there, but I'm trying to show some of my old school makeup products some love too. I know they're probably expired. I have palettes that are a few years old. I do know that, but you know what? I still use them. I still use them. I didn't even use a transition shade. I was gonna use a transition shade, but I didn't even use one. I just dipped into the brown and, and we're going from there. That's all right though. I love e.l.f. eyeshadow palettes. They're so affordable. I really like them. Now I'm just going to apply my concealer. So I've been mixing two shades. I've been using the L'Oreal concealer. Again, that's 405 Caramel. And then I'm using the House Labs uh, concealer. And then I have this one in Medium Golden. So I just purchased this and I really like it. It's nice and it has very full coverage as well. So I just mix the two shades. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend out this concealer and then finish the rest of my face. Do you guys use your fingers to blend out your concealer or do you guys just use your brush? I don't know, something to do with the fingers. I feel that you get more coverage. I know the brushes can too, but over 40, it seems like I have more coverage with my finger than using the brush. I really like this House Labs concealer too. It's very, very nice. All right, and then for foundation, today I'm gonna to be using the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. I must say this, I love this foundation. I love this foundation in the winter. I love it in the summer. It's just, it's everything to me because it like, it has full coverage and it's matte. And I like more of a matte coverage than the luminous and the dewy look, so. But what I have been doing here lately is I've been putting just a little bit of powder on my cheeks here, like in my areas where my pores are before I put on the foundation. And I have noticed that it does help a little bit to minimize some of the pores. So I'll be doing that today. All right, so I'm just gonna take two pumps on the back of my hand and blend this on my face. And I'm just using an e.l.f. blending brush to blend in the foundation. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend out this concealer again and set my under eyes. I must say that NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop, this foundation is gonna be one of my top 2024 foundations. It's just one of the few, but yeah. Well, actually, it's one of the many, not one of the few, but it's one of the many that's gonna be my top 2024. So I really love that foundation. 
So when you're blending out your concealer, like when you're finally setting your concealer, make sure to look up. Cause I mean, you're gonna have creases anyway. I mean, that's natural. But yeah, make sure to look up and blend out your concealer or blend out your powder, your setting powder. It gives more of a smoother look. All right, I'm just using the Danessa Myricks Evolution powder in banana, I believe it is. Or yeah, it's yellow, sorry. It's yellow evolution powder. So I'm just using that and setting my face. I think this powder is so beautiful. And it goes perfect on our skin, skin tone. For bronzer, I'm still loving my Physicians Formula. I believe this one's in Butter Bronzer. The bronzer smells so good. Then I'm using my LA Colors Mink Blush. Just a little bit. Nothing too major for church. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead in with my LA Girl Gel Glide Eyeliner in black. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and line my upper lash line. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put on mascara. I'm using my Lash Like a Boss from Essence. So I'm just gonna put on my mascara here real quick. Okay, and then for lips, of course, I am going to be using my e.l.f. Cream Lip Liner, and this is in Dark Cocoa. I can't get enough of this lip liner. Like, this is gonna be top 2024 as well, too. This is just, I don't know, I love this color so much. It does wonders. And then I'm gonna go over top with Teddy Bear. This is Milani Teddy Bear lipstick. I love this too, it's so pretty. I don't know if it's gonna go with my shirt, but we're gonna put it on anyway. Okay, the color's not bad. Okay, the color looks perfect. It actually goes together well with the eyeshadow and with the shirt, so yeah, I'm loving it, all right. All right, guys, this completes the look. This is my church go-to glam. Um, so if you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Stay blessed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.